When I'm not furiously painting miniatures in the studio, sometimes in the UK we actually have something called the sun. And I like to take the opportunity now and again to experience it and, well, paint some more. Well, the wonderful people over at Hobby Zone got in touch with me and asked if I wanted to try one of their newer products, and that is the Portable Hobby Station. And of course, I said yes. One of the first things that caught my eye about the Hobby Station was the customization of the product by using this easy drag and drop method on their website. So you'll be able to see what the final product will look like before you buy. And if you want to add a cool little sticker graphic to the front, there's a trio to choose from. The case itself is made from MDF and has a nice smooth finish to it. And there is a bit of assembly required, which I found wasn't too difficult or long-winded. Because if we can build fiddly, intricate plastic model kits, then this will be a doddle. When assembling, there are also magnets used for the drawer system, which need to be popped into these tiny holes. This will help the drawer snap into place as you slide it in. Just make sure to read the instructions properly and take note as to what polarity the magnets need to be as you fix them into place. Building wise, it took most part of an afternoon and a couple of cups of coffee. You will need a screwdriver and a small hammer, although I just tap the magnets and bolts into position using the side of some metal clippers. On the instructions, it says to use wood glue for the main structure, but I felt it was pretty solid after attaching the corner sections, and I didn't bother, as I was too eager to get it built. Either way, to glue or not to glue, you will need to unscrew and detach a couple of the corner back pieces in order to slide in what will be the two side sections of the hobby case. Once both of these are in place, just reattach those corner pieces again to make it nice and sturdy once more. From the original customised layout, I went for quite a few drawers, but with varied heights as I know I will want it to be multifunctional. What I like about Hobby Zone is that they've even taken the time out to make an assembly guide for the easier put together products like these drawers, just to help you along. This time I did use glue, just to strengthen up the drawers as they are going to have a lot of handling. And I used some tacky PVA glue for the job. I wiped off any excess with a slightly damp cloth and use some masking tape on the corners and edges just to keep it in place whilst drying. I did go for a funky designed vinyl sticker for the front, just because it jazzed up the brown wooden finish, and overall it's actually quite a sturdy bit of kit, and not too heavy at all. Although like a klutz, I managed to forget about a screw underneath the case and scratch the wood slightly as I was assembling it. No matter, as I got some stickers with the hobby station and who doesn't like a free sticker? On the inside, you do get a decent amount of space for your hobby needs, with seven tiers that you can slide your drawers into as well as a little space at the bottom for the thinner items like the brushes and the tools insert. The base hobby station does come with two slide-in shelves that you can see here, which is a nice little extra. I even like that you can fit larger items like Middle Earth scenery in there, as well as your tools, paints, biscuits, and a cup for your coffee. Obviously, Finish it before you transport it. The universal draw insert is cool as you can take out the middle section or alter the size of the compartments to your needs. This hobby station is also great for skirmish games like Kill Team and Middle Earth. So I'll be able to take my notepad and data cards, some scenery and small scatter terrain, gaming materials, as well as, of course, miniatures, all in one handy box. And I don't know what you guys are like when hobbying, but for me, sometimes my desk can get a 
little bit busy and messy when I'm working on a few things. So I'm actually using this as a handy desk organizer when I'm at home, just to keep things nice and tidy in between multiple projects. And if I go outside on an adventure, I can hobby anywhere. Like at the entrance to these troll caves. Or even at the Lake Evendim in Eriador. Me and Marnie will leave a link in the description below so you can check out the portable hobby station for yourself. Cheers everybody!